Hello, Shaggy Lons again. So, what did uh, we do in the previous uh, tutorial? You will see uh, this is our app directory and this is our output. Okay, and uh, see a strange thing that when we are in the root directory, I mean front end, and if you want to navigate, you see a uh, whole page is reloading. This is a strange and not expected, unexpected is because Next.js is not meant for that. When you navigate to another pages or directory, navigate or uh, react will not reload. The whole page will not reload. Only the page, expected page will be the reload. This is the unique feature of a single page application. You know, if you go to the admin, you see whole page is re reloading, but we don't expect that. But uh, you have to know that why the whole page is reloading is because we have not uh, triggered the uh, link components in our uh, app directory or we are not connecting the pages not yet. So let's dive into the deep and connect the page. And previously we kept our app directory. Uh, if we go to our GitHub page, you, you see we kept our uh, we kept our components in the nav directory uh, in the app directory but uh, we don't uh, like to keep it in the app directory is because app directory directory is uh, dedicated for routes and api routes so we want to keep our components nav directory outside of the app directory okay so let's do that so outside of the app directory let's create components okay components and create nav directory nav okay then nav bar nav bar dot jsx okay and nav bar dot jsx i have already created the page for you and i have taken the page from uh, if you search to the google uh, say like uh, tailwind css react navbar i keep the code from here and keep it here so let's go and take the code and paste it in our component directory so this is our components and uh, go to the app directory and in layouts uh, as you can uh, remember previously i mentioned that uh, those pages are common you want to show everywhere you want to show every uh, functionality or every pages uh, you should keep the you should link up hook up this components in the layout uh, layout file okay so before children nav bar connect it hook up it nav bar i hope you will get the suggestion yes i got the suggestion i got the suggestion to connect it Yeah, you see the uh, the navbar components navbar. Okay, I think it's working quite okay. You see, let's see. Yeah, I got the navbar. But thing is that uh, it's not connected yet. You see, it's not connected yet. Let's go and connect it. Okay, so go to the navbar. This is the navbar, and what we have we have register. Okay, this is a component. You know, uh, Next.js is very much powerful for link and image you see link link from next link auto import it link you see it has been auto imported link from next link and in href i mean register login and log out okay okay register and in register let's give it on slash means uh, front face and register register okay and as i mentioned register so what i need to do go to the app, app directory and create a folder named register otherwise it will give error register register and create a page this is the convention you have to uh, keep a folder and give it under under it give it a page page dot jsx then it will act as a route okay register route okay so r a f c e 
and give it this is register base this is this is register base okay and go to the nav bar again uh, this is done and go to login login do the same thing once again this is link component for next link link and in href give it a login login okay and you have to do the same thing again go to create a folder login this is the convention and give it a page okay page dot jsx sorry page dot page dot jsx okay and rafce song this is login login page okay and i hope this will work and, and uh, we need to do another another refurbish and that is in the uh, change the logo okay the logo should be marn marn stuck okay marn is stuck and if anyone click here so we should do the same thing and once again link first link 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 and if anyone clicks here it will go straight <coughs> excuse me to the home page and what about logout page you see logout we'll do work with logout later or you can give it a link okay link this link from next link link and if anyone clicks here it will go to the home page for now okay we are good to go uh, I, I hope our navigation will work smartly and I think uh, you will notice that whole page will not reload you see this is the this is the benefit and uniqueness of single page application you know react is uh, very well known for single page application whole page will not reload and that will definitely uh, give us benefit of seo and performance file will uh, load quite early in no time okay you see so we are able to navigate our in between folders and direct directory quite smoothly and very speedily so this is the ultimate motto of next.js okay and another thing i did uh, is because uh, i use use client what does it mean it means that if you uh, if you don't use use client uh, you will see that it will give error you see uh, react server component you are importing a component that needs use state as you are using use state so this is called a client side rendering not server side rendering uh, next.js is by default server side rendering but if you use the react functionalities like uh, i have used here use state so you cannot uh, use it as a server side com component this is client side component and if you want to use it as a client side component you are must to use here use client otherwise it will uh, give you error okay and client side component uh, it gives simultaneously two things at a time a client side component and server side component so uh, there is a manual and guideline over here uh, which component should be uh, server side component which component should be a uh, client side component you will get the guideline from here if, if you read the documentation uh, if you read the documentation you will uh, get get the instructions uh, right now i cannot but in the next video i will show you which page should be client side and which page should be server side render but learn one thing clearly if you use react functionality like use a state hook use effect hook use ref hooks uh, if you you uh, try to use uh, react hooks you are must to use use client otherwise it will uh, errors will pop up 
you cannot uh, run the component perfectly okay so i hope that will make sense uh, our component our navbar is working quite smoothly and this is rendering very quickly you know previously i showed you that whole page is rendering whole page is reloading but right now only the page is changing whole page is not reloading only the page is changing uh, if you have um, shutter lie if you you can see that only the page this is this is the benefits this is the motto of single page application uh, it will give you the seo boost and uh, performance boost okay no more today uh, see you in the next tutorial uh, stay connected if you like the video please like share and subscribe and uh, wait for the next uh, video okay see you soon